so I've parked in the car park just outside the village of Braithwaite in the northwest of the Lake District National Park. The hike up to the summit of Gridesdale Pike begins with a steep ascent straight out of the car park and within 20 minutes the views open up over Braithwaite, Keswick and beyond. Skidore and Bassenthwaite Lake being prominent features. After the initial pull, you seem to be rewarded with a brief lessening of the gradient. And from here, you get a breathtaking view of Braithwaite itself. Onwards and upwards, because the leisurely gradient doesn't last very long. With the hospital plantation on the right, looking forward you can see the long, steep ascent that awaits you. Hi and welcome back to the channel, Steve here's Adventures. I'm back in the Lake District, I'm just part way up Grisdale Pike I'm uh, going to have one night, I'm going to take off a few rain rights hopefully uh, and I'm just going to motor up there, I just want to get up this first peak
So that's dried steel out of the way. On my way to Hope Gill Head, which is just over there. <laughs> it's steady away now, that last bit coming up the Grisdale Pike. Oh my god, that's steep. So this Grisdale Pike where I've just come from. Yeah. And now we're on our way over to there. Yeah. First we've got to go over this. Fantastic. So let's go. Now we're over that a little bit, a little bit of a scramble, not a lot like, <laughs> but uh, now it's off a nice steady way up to Hope Gill Head, which is that one there. One lose a little bit more height and then it's a steady climb up. It's not as high as Grisdale, but never mind, it is another way in right. It'll be the second one of the day. So that's where we're off to. Just up there. Oak Gill Head. And then we'll see.
So I will stay and have a, a drink. Some pork scratchings. Just a little packet mate. Um, and I've got an energy bar there, a protein energy bar. I think they're called Grenade. I've got some scampi fries, a little pack of scampi fries. That's my uh, lunch. <laughs> so I'm back on Hopegill Head. Uh, I've had a bit wonder about. I'm all wandered out. <laughs> I've had enough now. <laughs> I've been over to Sand Hill, uh, which is not a rain ride. I've been over to Ladyside Pike, which isn't a rain ride, which is uh, more difficult than I thought. It was further than I thought. And also White Side. And then I've just come back to here. Uh, it's around about three o'clock ish. A little bit early to put a tent up. But won't be long because uh, the clag's in now and it's a bit getting a bit chilly. I've wrapped up, I've put a down jacket on. Um, spitting with a bit of light heel or soft heel, snow. So I'm not getting wet. The jacket's not getting wet. So. All right. So that's I think that's three rain rides. So it's about half past four now, and I've came back to Sand Hill, and I'll show you around. So there's Ho Hope Gill Head. Moving round, we've got Grisdale Pike. Moving round, just in the middle there, you've got Causey Pike, Scar Crags. And then the seal behind those clouds, <laughs> and uh, Crack Hill, and, and uh, Grassmoor just behind this hill. And this is Sand Hill. So this is where I've decided to camp. I'm pretty cold now, so I'm going to get my tent up and get in, get nice and warm, and then I'm going to uh, have a little splash of uh, Southern Comfort. <laughs> And some tea. Nice little spot there. Nice little flat bed. Nice view. <laughs> Bring you back in a second. tents up but as you can see <laughs> you can't see it might clear up in a bit I'm gonna get in this tent and get warm so what's for tea I have some chopped up spam quite a, quite a, quite a portion of it and I'm gonna heat that up in some water then I'm gonna add it all to uh, a humongous super noodle pot um, and then for snacks I've got I've still got some fry, uh, scampi fries left I've got some some dairy lean ham god knows what that is and I've got some Australian smoky cheese. Um, for breakfast, <laughs> for breakfast I've got some more spam, <laughs> and I've got a Quaker to go golden syrup porridge bar thing, and also for going to have walking down tomorrow. It's all downhill tomorrow, so should be fine. I've got a. Sky Mix chocolate chip protein brownie and a little bit of chocolate for tonight as well. Also for tonight I have a little can of Southern Comfort. Probably one of my favourite ones for coming out hiking because I can drink this on its own. It's not as rough as whiskey. Got a little bit of sweetness to it. Um, and also 
and another one of them. So I'll be going to sleep tonight smashed, I think. I've also got coffee, hot chocolate, the usual stuff, and a, a nice cup of tea for in the morning as well at some point. Well, I'm all set up now. I'll, uh, you probably know what I usually take now. I've come in the Hilleberg Act again. Uh, that's my favourite tin. Uh, I'm using Jet Boil Zip. Uh, it's just for boiling water, this essentially. It's not, it's just no good for cooking gourmet meals. Uh, water. Um, but this water pouch, two litres. That should be doers. I've started a little rubbish bag. It was in my backpack, which is empty, apart from I don't got my cup. Um, also, I'm on. Oh, well, this is the the uh, insul insulated mat I made. Two sides. I even edged it with some tape, um, and, and it's it's cut to size so it fits the tent footprint. Um, and I've got the usual. I'm after a new air mattress. Um, this one's too small and not. Thick enough for me. Uh, obviously, they're very expensive. So I'm in the OEX Bush Pro bivy bag, and I'm also in got the OEX Four Season Plus sleeping bag, uh, cushion and what have you. I've got all my stuff down there. Uh, looks a bit messy, but I know where everything is. So I'm just in my sleeping bag now, getting uh, getting it warm. I've put my base layer on. Uh, and I'm in my bag just need to warm up a little bit so I've been doing a lot of me recording today on the Akeso Brave 7 action camera I'm loving it I'm absolutely loving it um, so you'll see some of the footage from that so I couldn't decide today what I was going to be doing now I, I did think about doing another uh, woodland hammock camp yeah, but I changed my mind. I don't. I think I'm going to wait until the summer. Be nicer in the summer. But I've been looking for places to do it, um, and I found quite a few. Um, the, the Beckstone Plantation in the Lake District. That looks quite good because you can go up a Lord's Seat and then come back down into the woodland and uh, find somewhere nice to. I was going to say pitch your hammock, but what, do you, what is it called? You don't pitch a hammock, do you? Oh. What do you call it when you put a hammock up? Hang a hammock? <laughs> it might be. It's not pitch a hammock. Oh, if anybody knows, there's a shout. Tell us. I've uh, just had my tea um, and now I think I'm going to go on a toilet break and then go to sleep. I've left a link in the description for the Gone Wild Camping group on Facebook. It's a private group, not public. If you join, um, obviously all your posts and conversations are protected. If you fancy joining it, go on to Facebook, Gone Wild Camping, or look at my Facebook page. All the links are in the, the description. So I'm nice and warm now. I don't know if it's uh, the temperature. 
they've gone up or whether I've just been in the tent long enough to warm up. But I definitely feel warmer now. If you're wondering, this is the second, the second tub. When this is gone, I'll be going to sleep. So anyway, I'm going to go out for a toilet break and then I'm going to go to sleep. And I'll catch you in the morning. Fairly clogged up. I've got my coffee on. Well, I've made me coffee. I'm having that. I'm just gonna get packed up and get back down to the car. Stayed all packed up, ready to rock and roll. Nothing but a uh, patch where the tent was. Leave no trace, as always. So I'm going to head off back down to the car. Get back to you in a second when I've got my pack on and I'm on my way down. So I'm on my way down Sand Hill and I'm, I'm on Cordill House and I'm going to be walking past Force Crag Mines yeah, through the valley, nice easy way, nice relatively flat uh, on the way back to the car. But So I'm just passing Force Crag Mine, but old we'll disused miner. I don't know what it was mining. <laughs> I haven't got a clue. It's some fantastic waterfalls just next to it. Also, I'd just like to say in this video, all the add-on audio, the uh, narrating over it, it's being done using the Synco D2 shotgun microphone, uh, which Synco kindly sent us to test out. I wanted to add some cinematic sound to my videos. Yeah, I haven't used it outside yet, but I've used it to add audio to my videos, i.e. narrating. So I'll see what you think of the sound quality for that. Also keep an eye out for the video of the unboxing of that D2 shotgun microphone. I've got some tuition on how to set it up if you're using equipment that is not professional, i.e. if you're using a DSLR camera or a phone, you can, you can still use this microphone even though it's a professional one uh, but I'll show you how to do that in the video uh, so if, you, if you're interested in that have a look at that video it should have been the one just out before this one <laughs> also a lot of the footage camera footage on this hike has been done using the, the KSO Brave 7 action camera and I found it fantastic I've used it twice now and I've used it this time probably to do most the majority of me videoing and it's been really cold on this trip there's the battery and a half I would say and uh, the cold didn't affect it the water didn't affect it it's got a lovely uh, tone to the 
uh, video itself it's almost like it's been color graded already for for being cinematic anyway I'm on my way back to the car I'm not I'm about two mile away mile and a half so and it's pretty flat and easy going now so I'm gonna love yous and leave yous <laughs> uh, if you've enjoyed this video please subscribe subscribing really helps us um, drop a like and uh, a comment if you like and I'll, I'll probably answer you because I don't get too many comments at the moment and I'll see you next time <laughs> bye